Lannister is actually fucking doing anything. <laughs> They've been talking about Lannister doing things and he's totally happening. Things are happening. It's, it's like fucking... It should be George Lannister. George R. R. Lannister. This, yes, the, the Lannister army is coming, lads. It's coming soon. It's releasing soon from the Westerlands. It's coming. It's coming, boys. It's coming soon. Why does everywhere that they go in this show look like Dawn? <laughs> but that's a lot of sand. Where the fuck is that supposed to be? The, on the borders of the Reach? What's Jason Lannister doing in the fucking Dornish marshes? Golden Tooth is honored oh, to receive you, it. my Lord Lannister. I have 500 fighting men. Wait, wait, wait. It's been like how long? And he's only at the Golden Tooth? Full of spirit. I bring a thousand knights of my own, and seven times as many archers and men at arms. And lions By the for time some reason. we are finished with the Riverland scum, the Red Fork will have earned its name. We will make an alliance with the Triarchy. I've had enough of this cursed blockade. It's actually a fucking brilliant idea. I don't know why all of them are like, oh, this is a terrible idea, Edmund. No. No, it's a brilliant idea. It literally solves, like, half of your fucking problems. They just need to point them at your enemies. It's like trusting the Greyjoys. You don't trust the Greyjoys. You trust the Greyjoys to fucking burn shit and fuck up shit. As long as they're fucking up your enemies, who cares what they fuck up? What has come of our letters to the Greyjoys? They have been... <laughs> no. Greyjoys. But we can't trust the free cities. They're savage, raiding psychopaths. Who who spoke to the Greyjoys? The Greyjoys. Let's get the Greyjoys. They're not psychopaths. The fucking where's, where's Boris Baratheon during all of this? There's like tw at least 20, 30,000 men in the Stormlands that are, you know, think you should like hurry up, shag the stag girl, and then, you know, gra grab his father's, her father's like 30,000 men. Hang on, this. Burns. <laughs> Crispy. That's it. You serve the realm well. Like a marshmallow. Then who could do it? You. What? Perhaps the gods will favor us. They will not. No, they won't. Ah, uh, look. More episodes of Daemon Targaryen wandering around Harrenhal for the entire season. I, I like the haunted Harrenhal thing. Because HBO, uh, HBO skipped that entirely in Game, of, uh, Game of Thrones. Didn't really mention it whatsoever. But um, I don't need six episodes of Daemon Targaryen doing nothing. <laughs> like, come on. It's Jesus. He's supposed to be flying around the Riverlands. Like, liberating uh, things. And, like, taking Stonehenge and gathering up the River Lords. He's supposed to be introduced to Bloody Ben, Forest Frey. Fucking all kinds of interesting characters and stuff that Daemon's supposed to be doing. But... This entire season, he's just stayed inside Harrenhal, wandering the halls, talking to ghosts. Having wet dreams. Uh -huh. Having wet dreams about his... That was his mother, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was... Mm -hmm. that, he, he had a wet dream about his mum. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's about all he's done. Wander around a haunted mansion and uh, dream about shagging his mum. Open the door! This is me begging at the door of the entire season, asking for something interesting to happen. Or are you still in league with your club-footed nephew, or is it Rhaenyra herself? I, I shot you. He's going cray-cray. Like, he did a lot of shit in season one. The season two, he's just done nothing. But he's outside of Harrenhal. It's happening. He's doing things. If you have any counsel for dealing with the River Lords, I'd be glad of it. How about do something for once, Damon, rather than just standing around doing all? Rivermen are made of mud. They would rather die stuck in it than yield one inch to one another. Then I can do nothing. You. I like that though. The river men are made of mud. And House Mud once ruled them as kings. Do nothing now. In three days' time, the winds will shift. Are they gonna fucking chant? Stefan Darkland will soon die. He will be fried. <laughs> Direct translation. Is the chanting necessary? Or is he calling a dragon? Dragons just come <laughs> when serenaded. I mean, go tame a dragon and then you sing a creepy chant in a fucking dark cave wherever everyone watching you. Nobody has ever tamed a dragon like this. Ever. No, it's never happened. No way in hell. I want I want the cannibal to show up and eat him. <laughs> this is how they introduce the cannibal. I want the cannibal to show up and eat him. 
That's a tamed dragon. It's got a thing on it. Is it sea smoke? It looks exactly like Danny's, though. No. No way in hell. Nope. Nope. Wait for it. It's not gonna work. It's a trap. I've done it. Nope. Danny dies. Nope. Oh. Ah, no. Ooh. Yeah, there it is. One of the biggest setbacks for the Targaryen dynasty. Just another thing that Rhaenyra is going to be responsible for. Directly responsible for, apparently. Do you know how many dragons die because of what she's doing right now? A lot. <laughs> if I may, Your Grace. This becomes you. The Sword of Kings is literally just right fucking there. You challenged me, Lee. <laughs> just foolish. You remember. We're in the most capable hands, Sir Grace. Are they wandering through the Vale of Arryn with three guards and a prince of the realm, and they're just wandering around? Sheep stealer? Why a sheep stealer in the Vale? Yeah, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna give her sheep stealer, and Nettles is written out of the show. It's a, it's a good character. It's one of the few characters that survive the entire fucking thing. And uh. They, they've just written her out of the show completely. Oh, look how cute. He's <laughs> playing with them. Like a little dog. You lead us to war yourself? For a certainty, I cannot remain here, pacing the floors, waiting for defeat and despair to visit me. Oh, don't. I mean, that's all you people seem to do. Damon does the same thing, and you're doing the same thing. It all, actually, it's all the blacks have really done the entire time. Like, what, what have they done for two seasons now? I mean, season one was like the prelude. That's what, what bugs me. The season one was the lead up to the war, and so far we've had six episodes of season two, which is also the lead up to the war. <laughs> Rather than all of season two being the war, we're still waiting for the war. <laughs> like, the only thing that's happened is Drux Rest, that's it. That's one episode of the entire season so far that's actually been the war, the rest of it's just more prelude. We need Damon and his dragon. May I be free for even one hour of the constant refrain of Damon, Damon, Damon. You're gonna cause a massive fucking riot, is what you're gonna do. But I think that's the point. Yeah, but like... <laughs> that, it's not necessarily like, ah, oh, we're doing this out of the goodness of my heart. No, I'm gonna do this to cause people to fucking start killing each other over all this food. Give it to me! Oh. Ah! your sword! This is, ladies, this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you always have a dagger. I like the scene that I paused that on for that guy's face. But this is why knights always carry daggers. Jamie Lannister was correct. You have a long sword, then you have a dagger. You have a dagger for exactly this situation, <laughs> where people get too close for a long sword. Long sword, poor choice in close combat, like in confined area. Too long. You need to swing it to do any damage. <laughs> King's got done a really shit job. It's just random fucking guards that are saving them. Stop running, boy. And it's right in front of him. <laughs> he smoke was so goddamn insulted by them trying to put a darkling on him that he went down and hunted down a bastard. <laughs> Sea smoke is like, you're mine, bitch. <laughs> my own son questions my capability. Why did he do it's that? Damon at myself. Just stating the obvious. Yeah, you need Damon. You need dragons, you dumb bitch. Damon has the biggest and most, like, experienced dragon that you have. And is the only one apparently doing anything. Or not really doing anything, but, you know, he's, he's sitting in a castle. And not, I mean, yeah, he's not doing anything. I was going to say rallying the river lords, but he hasn't really done that. He's been useless. My own son doubts me. You have me? He wasn't doubting. He just stated the obvious. She was secretly gay the entire time. Nope. Say look. I think there's more to my meme than, uh, than I was memeing. This needs to stop! Being gay the entire time. They are onto something. This is all because of a lover spat. She wanted to shag Alison, and then she couldn't shag Alison. I need to bring back that horny meme thing from like before why is it that the Rhaenyra just constantly gets horny Run away, I've got to... the girl shags everything that moves i mean at least now she can't create any more bastards true 
She should have just had an affair with Alison the entire time. But then Alison started shagging her dad. Oh, this will be funny. How's Alan going to explain this? Mother! You can't stop her, bastard. Uh, your mother is horny. She's turned on. She does stupid shit when she's turned on. It's like the last time when her uncle was snug at her and she ran off and shagged Christian Cole. <laughs> who then, you know, rejected her and that made her, you know, more horny. And then she shagged that storm dude, that strong dude, who then it was your dad. Also, can't Jace get his own dragon and go help his mum if he's that concerned? Is it going to end the episode there? No, thank God. I want No, it is. Yes. Shit. Nothing goddamn interesting fucking happened. Uh, this entire episode was just a bunch of goddamn filler leading up to more stuff. The, the only thing that's interesting that's happened this entire fucking thing is literally just Rook's rest, and then that's it. Let's see what's you next stand time. stand with a dragon of House Targaryen! The old ways call for justice. Darren's dragon has taken to wing. House Targaryen is the blood of the dragon. If any may lay claim to it, what are we then? Bastards. Jace, it makes you bastards. Oh, you mean like everyone in general, not just you. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. But you are proof that the Targaryen blood doesn't have to be pure in order to tame a dragon. Not that we've ever seen you do anything with your dragon because you don't do anything. You're actually more useless than Daemon, to be perfectly honest. I mean, at least Daemon occasionally leaves the castle to go to the godswood. You just stay in Dragonstone. I don't know, let's... I, it feels to me like uh, most of these episodes feel really dragged out, and I don't know if it's primarily just because I know everything that's going to happen, so all of this bloat doesn't... I mean, maybe it doesn't feel like bloat if you're completely oblivious to everything that's happening, and maybe I'm just looking forward to the actually cool parts to happen, but I feel like I could take episode one, episode three, episodes... like, the, the last episodes... You could basically squish down the entire of season two into three episodes, and you wouldn't have really missed anything important, and the story would still make sense. Which is weird because so much of this could have been way more interesting. And this comes from a place of like, I am a massive Song of Ice and Fire fan, I've read the books a thousand times, I've done a thousand things, I've made video games, well not video games, I've made modifications of video games, like hundreds of them, I've ran multiplayer communities based around this, I've ran the channel based around Game of Thrones for, for like a lifetime. I am a fan of George's work. I am a massive fan of George's work. Although, personally, I think Broken Empire, a uh, series of books by uh, Mark Lawrence, is actually better. So, you know, if you haven't ever read that, I do highly recommend it. But I digress. My criticism of this show doesn't come from a place of hate, as some people seem to weirdly believe. I don't know what the mentality is these days with people believing that you can't criticize something and still, like, want the best for it. I don't know. But, yeah, it, it just feels like a lot of filler, a lot of dragged out scenes. It's like, Damon the entire season has done absolutely nothing. He's just sat at Harrenhal. That's not what he's done in the books. In the books, he went to Stonehead. He made the Brackens bend the knee. He actually rallied the River Lords. We should be seeing Bloody Ben. We should be seeing uh, Forrester. We should be seeing Stark's men sh have shown up by now. There's so much stuff that could have made so much of these other episodes more interesting, but just feel like they're dragging out and like, wait until next week when stuff happens. Every other episode, basically, is just wait until next week when some stuff happens. Uh, I don't know. I look forward to the dragon seeds. Uh, I look forward to the dragons. The dragons are easily the highlight of the show. They've done them amazingly, in my opinion. So far, at least. You never know when disappointment might smack you upside the head like the bonk stick. But ultimately, I, I don't know. I, fe I feel a little disappointed in many episodes this season. I do feel like season two so far has been worse than season one. I feel like season one was, a, was outstanding, really. It was very well done. And this just feels a little bit lackluster in many episodes. Just a little bit doesn't have, it doesn't have that spark of, you know, to really grip your attention. It, it isn't engaging me. The only thing that's engaging me is wanting to see the cool shit that's gonna happen next episode, <laughs> maybe, you know? It's not bad, but it could be better. That's the thing. Every episode, I think, it could be better. I think the only episode so far where I haven't thought to myself, oh, that was kind of like mildly disappointing, I was expecting more, is the Rook's Rest. Rook's Rest was cool. But, uh, you know, it remains to be seen. We've got three episodes left, ladies and gentlemen. My prediction is basically that the, it's, that the season's going to end, and click away if you don't want spoilers for this last little segment here, but the season's going to end with Rhaenyra, on the Iron Throne, taking King's Landing, because Aemond is going to be off to Harrenhal, uh, 
and I whether or not we'll get the uh, the fleets showing up and killing Jace is debatable. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm betting that we end on a wide shot of Rhaenyra on the Iron Throne as it pans away. And uh, everyone will be like, yes, she's won! She's won! And I'm like, no. No, she hasn't. <laughs> This war is far from 